Here's a look from the KTVO Skycam that's located on top of the Samaritan Hospital in Macon, brought to you by Heritage House Realty and Culver Stockton College. And we do have some cold temperatures in Macon, but very quiet conditions. Also, a wind chill advisory is in effect for just a few of our counties uh, right now, but I have a feeling it's going to be in effect for the entire viewing area. This is from late tomorrow night around 9 p.m. to 10 a.m. on Thursday. But we woke up on a brutal note this morning. Made a new another record low. The last one was my uh, was negative 13 setback in 1979. It was negative 14 this morning, negative 14 in Atomwa, negative 20 in Centerville. So it was just downright bitterly cold across the area. The good news is we're going to be waking up on a little bit warmer note, still on the colder side, but much warmer than what it was this morning. Right now we have temperatures in the low to mid teens, 10 degrees in Atumwa, Kirksville coming in at 12 degrees. Winds though coming out of the southwest, ushering in just a little bit warmer air, uh, but we've got anywhere from about 5 to 8 to 16 mile per hour winds, and that is putting the wind chill a little bit on the cold side. It feels like zero in Kirksville. Kirksville. Seven degrees below is what it feels like in a town one four degrees below in Fairfield. So bundle up if you're heading on that to dinner or to an event for tonight. Had a lot of sunshine earlier. Now we're starting to see those clouds rolling in from the northwest as well as we do have a little clipper system that's going to bring us some light snow as we're heading into around at 10 to 2 o'clock in the morning. Overnight lows for tonight though six degrees. There's that 40% chance of snow with those southwest winds switching back to the northwest is going to be ushering in a little bit colder air as we're heading into tomorrow night. But the wind chills for tonight is going to make it feel like it's one to six degrees below zero highs for tomorrow around 11 degrees. We'll see mostly sunny skies. Um, Northwest winds 10 to 15. That'll put the wind chill, making it feel like it's around 15 degrees below zero. So here's what we're looking at over the next couple of days. Um, Mostly clear skies across the area right now. We're starting to see that light band of snow that's starting to push in into southeast Iowa. So around 9 to 10 o'clock, moving into Albia and into Centerville, as well as Ottumwa. A lot of this is going to stay into, into southeast Iowa. Into northeast Missouri, we could see a light dusting, maybe a few flurries, but the majority is going to stay into southeast Iowa. Here comes a secondary cold front that's going to sweep through the area late tomorrow, and that's going to bring us some cold temperatures once again for tomorrow night and we're going to see the single digits as our highs on Thursday before we start to warm things up into the weekend. There's that high pressure that's going to keep us dry uh, as we're heading throughout early on Thursday. Uh, we do have a 20% chance of light snow late Thursday night, but for tonight, how much snowfall can we expect? Very light dusting into northeast Missouri as well as up to a half an inch expected across southeast Iowa. So hour by hour tomorrow morning uh, around 8 a.m. We're looking at 7 degrees. There's our overnight low at 9 a.m. 6 degrees and a high of 11 at 2 o'clock in the afternoon. But by 6 o'clock we're into the single digits 5 degrees and at 8 o'clock we're looking around 3 degrees with mostly clear skies. Here's the seven day forecast 8 degrees as your high on Thursday with mostly sunny skies was a 20% chance of snow late Thursday night. But oh, those temperatures six degrees below zero tomorrow night. We're we'll stay uh, below zero for Thursday night as well as Friday night before we start to see some warmer air moving in for the weekend. In fact, 24 degrees on Saturday. The next storm system moves in on Sunday. 37 as your high, but we are going to start out with a little bit of a rain snow mix as well as some light snow before changing all over to rain as those temperatures continue to warm. Of course, anytime check us out 24 seven at KTVO.com. 37 is going to feel like a heat wave compared to what we have been. Took the words right out of my mouth. That's <laughs> what I was going to say. It will feel warm. That's for sure yes. compared to what we have now. Thanks, Teresa. Coming up next.